Hey, good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jesus is Lord. Hey, the word works. I've been talking to you about your tongue, which sets on fire the course of nature. Now, I'm going to help you here today. Had a problem with my body last week. And having a little problem with it today. But the word says he sent his word and healed them. Well, if he sent his word and healed them, then I are the healed. I am the healed, or I is the healed. Himself bore my sicknesses and carried my diseases, and with his stripes I was healed. What I'm supposed to do is consider what he did and not consider how I feel. Now watch, I'm going to help you here. I was as sick as I've been in 25, 30 years last week, <clears throat> and on Friday I got to feeling better. So I made a mistake that you've probably made, but I'm going to help you not make it again. Because I got to feeling better, I got to looking at the way I felt, and I began to say, you know, I'm going to get over this thing. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm not supposed to consider how I feel. In fact, the Bible tells us while we look not at the things which are perceived in the natural, that's 2 Corinthians 4.18, so uh, what I did is I got my eyes off of the completed work of Jesus and got it on the fact that I was feeling some better. Now watch, I'm going to help you. When you get your eyes off of the word, you are going to begin to fall because faith doesn't come by how you feel. Faith doesn't come by the fact that, well, I can go outside today. Well, I went out Friday afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> I took Pat out to dinner. And by the time I got home Friday night, I was as bad off as I was on Wednesday or Thursday because I made the mistake of not letting my tongue set on fire the course of nature, and I began to be moved by the fact that, well, I'm going to be okay. So this is what the Word says. My son, attend to my word, incline thine ear unto my sayings, whether you feel like it or whether you don't feel like it, whether you feel good or whether you don't feel good. The tongue of the wise is a tree of life. Thou art snared by the words of your mouth, not by how you feel, not by how you look. You're taken by your words. Now, I'm going to be on this a long time uh, about James chapter 3. We put a bit in a horse's mouth, and even though that horse may weigh a 1,000 pounds, we can make it go where we want it to go. Our granddaughter, who's <clears throat> living with us, Zoe, rode horses competitively for a while when she was 14, you know, 13 and 14. And I'd watch her make that big old horse just do whatever it wanted to do. And it was beautiful. I, I've got videos of it. It's just gorgeous. Well, I could get on that horse and it wouldn't do much of anything because I didn't know how to do it. Well, I got to get out of here. I know how to do this. Keep your eyes on the word, not the way you feel because feelings have nothing to do with the fact that with his bright stripes, you're healed. Hey, I got to go. Have a great day. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.